Well, Mark, you could probably guess here. The, the responses on social media to this are pretty split. You have a lot of people who are, who are applauding this, this move by the festival. Others are upset both about the new guidelines and that they're finding out roughly a month or so. Uh, before the festival begins. Now, here's what the announcement says. It was posted on Instagram and on Twitter. Quote, everyone will be required to provide a negative COVID-19 test result to enter the festival grounds. If you're vaccinated, you may provide proof of vaccination instead. Now, these are the same rules announced for the Harry Styles tour, which makes a stop at Emily Arena next month. Doctors at USF believe this will help keep people safer and may encourage some concert goers to get vaccinated. Now, the governor might not be as thrilled. Governor DeSantis banned vaccine, vaccine passports, and he said businesses requiring customers to show proof of vaccination status will be fined $5,000 for each customer. I also don't want two classes of citizens. You know, we have some people in, in, our, in our communities who just made the decision this is something that they're not going to do. So what, you're going to do the right amount of society? Politics has gotten in, a way, in the way with just basic, smart public health prevention efforts. Uh, and I would say let's push the politics aside and just do all the things we know work and learn how to live with COVID. Now, if these penalties apply to concerts and festivals that draw thousands of people, those fines, you can imagine, would add up very quickly. Now, it's unclear, though, if that's the case at this point. We did reach out uh, to the governor's office, Mark, to find out if those, uh, those fines, $5,000 a piece per customer, or in this case, per concert goer, if that would apply to this specific festival or other concerts. We have not heard back at this point, though. Sounds good, Aaron Mesmer, live for us. Aaron, thanks. All right.